This is a Sakuga holographic animation. Welcome to my holographic gaming suite. Quickly, I just added a new looking glass portrait to my collection. It's a personal glasses free holographic display that renders 3D volumes. But that's not what I used to present the Sakuga animation. That was on a 16 inch OLED lenticular display. Holograms are amazing for creators. They're just leaving the super early adopter phase and coming into the adoption phase. So it's the perfect time to start experimenting. So Cougar is a term that anime fans use to describe jaw-dropping frame-by-frame animation. And yes, it looks crazy in a hologram. I've been a holographic developer for around six years and now I'm developing my holographic gaming suite. This is so that all of my future prototypes and projects can connect with each other to some degree. First, I made a debug manager. It logs, renders on-screen debug overlays, and exports templates to JSON files so my settings are portable across projects. Then, I made an animation manager. At the moment, it has tracks, steps, easing, loops, and activation rules. First, I made position, scale, and rotation animations. Then I added deform animators, then an animator for the holographic camera, one for particles, and finally at this stage, one for custom shaders. See my last video for how I built this one. Here's the Sakuga loop. To me, it looks amazing, but filming a hologram is kind of like trying to take a photo of a video. So you're gonna have to take my word for it. Or take the word of this young person that I dragged from one of the talks I was doing. And First nice. thoughts, first thoughts. I really think there's something to it because it's, it's like a bit like 3D, t um, it's a bit like, um, yeah, like you go, you know when you do the red, blue, yes. blue glasses. It's a bit like that, but without the glasses. And then it's like, it's, it's definitely something more to it than just watching 2D TV. There's scenes and like you're looking, there's more dimensions to it. There's like, it felt at points like, but there's actually like, maybe like four like different layers that you're kind of looking into. So what's next? Well, I've got this audio visualization prototype that I'm thinking of expanding so that my holograms can be timed to music. Also, I've been playing around with Unity's machine learning tools and I'm thinking about creating a model that can use my animation manager. If you wanna see long streams of me making projects like this, head over to Twitch. That's where I do all the live streams of me coding. Share this with somebody if you think that they would be interested and like and subscribe if you want to see more holographic gaming. Awesome.